All right, and the Phoenix family now. Wait a minute, what's this? Wow. Hold on a second. What's happening right now? Is that? Oh, Phoenix. Hold on a second. Hey, Joe. Is that his music? What's going on, Chad? Oh! oh! What? Speaking of fathers and sons. Wow. What are you doing here, old man? Hey, what are you doing here, old man? Ladies and gentlemen, we have got. Hey, why do you have boots on? Huh, it's Brickhouse Baker and his son, Devin. A family affair here at Fenway Park. What is this? Wow. Brickhouse Baker and his son, Devin Baker, now making their way ringside. And we have got... Why does Brickhouse have his boots on? Brickhouse retired nearly five years ago. He hasn't been in a ring since. Let's see what he's got to say. Holy moly. Color me Well, let me tell you people something. If you don't know who I am, you're a bunch of idiots. I am a 30-year vet. Understand what a vet is? 30 years. I've been doing this for 30 years. You, too. They come out here, father and son. This is one of my sons. We are the Baker Boys. My son David couldn't make it, but since we're here, we're going to show you two that. You're not the generation of dad and son. I am of New England. I have two sons. You have two sons, but only one wrestles. Mine both wrestle. Oh, two's better than one. So this one. is what we're gonna do. I say we challenge you two. What? To a tag match. Are you kidding? Oh, okay, wait a minute. Here's Commissioner Smooth that straight things so out. Let's see. Like that shit. This just got impromptu. I like it. This, I, I got nothing. Chad's beside himself over now, here. let's get something straight. I am the commissioner. I am your commissioner, Smooth. And if anybody making matches around here, it is me. There you go. There's some history right there, and I know you both don't know about it. Edge the Smooth operator, Trey Smooth, and Brickhouse Baker. Those two have torn it up all over New England for many years. Different positions now as... Smooth is the commissioner of the Bell Time Club. Let's see what he has I to say. Am Hold on. Play like that. I'm Steve Harvey, and we're going to have a family feud. <laughs> and the only reason why I am going to sanction this match is because you had no business breaking up a father and son moment. You know better than that. You're, 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 your father. He's your son. I want you guys to handle your business. So we are going to have a tag team gauntlet match. And the first match is going to be the Phoenixes against the Baker Boys. Now I, you get in the corner, you get in the corner. I need a, no, 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 no. You want the match? You want the match? You're going to step up? You're going to get this match. Now get your behind in that corner right now. We are about to see, oh my goodness, folks, this is unbelievable. You get in the corner. There may be father and sons, but man. Trey Smooth is showing him who's their daddy we, right now. And, and we have got father and son versus father and son to start off a tag team call. Oh, my God. Brickhouse on the ground. And AJ is just teeing off. What an amazing turn of events here at Fenway Park. Double underhook. And the Phoenix is now with the Our tandem Phoenix. up. It's now on Devin Baker. Here's the thing. Brickhouse Baker has trained... 95% of New England. He's trained AJP. Half of the kids in the back. A little known, unknown fact. Guess it. what? He trained me and the Steves. Trained Luscious Latasha and a whole host of others. But now he's here in the ring with his son ready to take on the Phoenixes. This is amazing. I can't believe what we're seeing here. Because Baker hasn't laced up those boots in all half a decade. And here he is in a tag team gauntlet. Father, son versus father, son. This is exciting. Oh, that was... That's smart. how it's done, Teach. That was right out of your book, Contract. Where do you think I learned it? That man right there showed me all One, of my tricks. Two. 
But I guarantee you he didn't show me all of his. Well, I guarantee you that he definitely showed the tricks to his son Devin here as Devin got the chokehold now on AJP. Yeah, AJP's in a bad way right now. Well, he's giving about 200 pounds of a bigger, stronger baker right now, beating the holy hell out of him to set on the ring. And, and you know what? His dad is going to watch on. Yeah, it's going to be tough from that standpoint when you're watching your son get pummeled. Nobody can beat my child but mine. That's probably what he's thinking. And here comes Brickhouse Baker. There we go. Snapmare. Look at that. He puts him too close and brings him right back. Oh. Big help. Wow. Hard elbow drop. There's a reason they call him Brickhouse. Yeah. We got a pin. One, One, two. Whoa, that was so very close. And hey, look at that. That's smart tag team wrestling. Smacking Big Phoenix right in the face. Snapmare again, center of the ring. Stomps on his spine, his shoulder, his quad PG muscles. Big fist drop. Center of the ring. And we got the cover now. One, two, not enough. Everything Brickhouse does isn't pretty, but it hurts. It's effective. It works. It is fluid. It means something. Every time he moves, off the ropes goes Brickhouse. Double elbow to the ba from the Baker boys. AJ got to tag his pop. Ooh. Well, I'll tell you, Brickhouse Baker wouldn't have shown up here with his gear if he wasn't ready to, uh, to compete. And oh, ready to compete he is. And him and his son Devin in full control of this contest here. Here's the thing about wrestlers. You always show up ready just in case. Look at this. Oh, and we got the double team while the referee's not looking now. T. Phoenix is beside himself. The Phoenixes are just being owned right now. That is Brickhouse Baker, a New England Hall of Famer. He is the first man ever to do a no-rope barbed wire match here in New England with uh, Jose. Wow, Not unreal. Not to cut you off, Chad, but AJP got cut off with his, all his breath there. And let's not forget that AJP just had a match with his dad, and he had a lot taken out of him now as he's taking even more punishment at the hands of the Baker boys. I want you to see this right here. Look at this. Does this look familiar at all? Those it, strikes. It seems a little bit familiar. That man right there showed me in the middle six everything we know, and it's effective. It works. It might as well be a Baker's Dozen right now because they're completely overwhelming the Phoenixes. Well, again, AJP taking a lot of punishment. Let's not forget that this is a tag team gauntlet match. Right. We've still got a lot more to see here. A bird just crapped on my notebook. Oh, chops. God, yeah. <laughs> ah. Folks, here at Fenway Park, Brickhouse, boom! Oh, oh my gosh. Ow. It just looks like he has been hasn't missed a day. He hasn't been on the ring in friggin' five and a half, half a decade, whatever it is. Two. I was going to say that. He looks phenomenal. No ring rust. And here's the best part. He showed Phoenix how to do this, too. He took him under his wing. He yeah. trained him. Like you said, he's trained pretty much everyone in the back tonight. Oh, here we go. It's not even oh, a pin. AJ's... He's got that shoulder up. Oh, nothing pretty there. He had a headlock on him underneath his arm. He was choking him with his own bandana in the headlock. That is old school cool right there. It is. It sounded like he said chuck off, but uh, I don't think it was that. Crafty better in moving. He did it without the referee seeing. Irish whip ropes. now. Okay. Down, sunset. Oh, AJ tries to get a reversal. And it works. And one, two. Second. Oh, he's going to get the big go. man. AJ desperately needs to make that tag, like desperately. Here's the thing. If Big Phoenix gets in, if Big Daddy T gets in, it's over for, <laughs> for Daddy. He's going to die. It becomes a new match. Here we go now. Uh, he just get bobbed right in the face. Irish whip again. No, drop right kick. Go, the separation he needs. Come on, get to your pop. He doesn't even know uh, where he yeah, is he, now. He's all, uh, all discombobulated. Looking for down in the corner. Can he make this tag? He desperately needs to. Wait. Yes, he does. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. 
Big Daddy T. Phoenix is cleaning house. Brickhouse out and Brio. Baker goes up, Baker goes down. Big body slam there by T. Phoenix now going to check on AJ. He's got him up. I got to disagree with him trying to tag his son back. Okay. AJ needs to recover. Finally, you know, a breath of fresh air now for the, uh, for there the Phoenixes. You go. Brickhouse looks like he's been running a bike. You get to the ring, it's been easy for him. Here we go, AJ to the top. Phoenix in, up. Big nice elbow, elbow drop. One, two, up. Hey, wow. And they got him. Unreal, folks. The Phoenixes rise. I'll, I'll tell you. The Phoenix is... Brickhouse is not happy. The Phoenix has got the pinball, but man, did they take a lot of punishment at the hands of the Baker boys. Yeah, I don't think sure Brickhouse is done. And let's not forget, and here we go. Oh, wow. I do not envy Little P and Big P right now. Well, Big P seems to be good, but Little Phoenix is uh, still recovering. Yeah. And them Cowboys are in the ring, one half of the battlefront. And Garrett Holiday, the last outlaw here in professional wrestling. And, and you see him bring the noose to the ring. That might be very symbolic of what they're going to do. Or it might be happen what happens to them. Big Cal up. Single leg I'll drop kick, Yakuza kick if you would. I'll tell you, this seems like an insurmountable task now for the Phoenixes now, you know, after the singles match they had, then the beating they took at the hands of the Bakers. And, and now he just ran right into his thumb. Yeah, father and son might want to go watch a movie. Right this basket, wait a minute, gone. Holiday has him up. Oh, oh, Guerrero special. Face first. That could be it. One, two, three. And it is. And you heard what? Cal Stevens on the rope. Take absolutely nothing away from the Phoenixes. Now they put Brickhouse, Baker, and his son, Little Baker, out of the tournament. That's impressive as it is. Yeah, he made, they made short work of uh, the Phoenixes. Well, the complexion of this tag team gauntlet match has just changed as we got Garrett Holiday and Big Cal Stevens ready to see who we got coming out next here. Big Cal's just a beast. Oh, right, here we go. TJ Howell coming in. These two young guns are trying to make a stand here, and who better to stand up against these two big southern hosses? Absolutely. Chad, I got to say, the only person who rivals you in, in uh, fashion is T.J. Howell. I mean, Never say that again or I will stab you in the eye with my pen. The, the power of I will short. stab you right in the eye with my pen. Do it, Chad, Noted. please. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Joe. But here we see. He's not he, kidding. Here we see Xander and T.J. now. Laying it in. Oh, not Garrett wasting Holiday. any time. See, the great thing about Bell Time Club and Dante Luna here at Fenway Park, it's not just one promotion. It is nearly every promotion here in New England. Oh. It is a plethora of people together. We got a pin. You read the same thing I did this morning. Good word. Well, if you want the best competition, you go out and get the best, and that's exactly what Dante Luna has done. Dante's Luna reach is long, wide, and for. Ever. He throws so many lines in the water at once to see who bites. Big line. Oh, takes down Garrett Holiday. No. I heard a rumor that TJ Howell's dad was uh, thinking about buying Fenway Park. I don't know how true that is. It's He's not. He doesn't have the kind of money. And besides, his dad only likes winning teams. Uh. Oh, okay. Well. Ouch. Notice Chad I mean, said that very Sox quietly, so none of the faithful heard him. But Oh, the faithful can uh, kiss my left cheek. <laughs> I don't mean the one on the face either. Oh. Headlock in the middle of the ring to Garrett Holiday. Nice jawbreaker. 
There's a blind tag. TJ Howell the third now. Oh, cutting off. No tag there to uh, Big Cal Stevens. TJ Howell getting in the way. Nice kip up there. Very nice. Do you think TJ Howell the is representing Shark Week? Well, I'll tell you, he's representing gentrified Brooklyn, New York. I'm guessing much to the dismay here of the uh, Bell Time Club faithful at Fenway Park. Here's the thing about Holiday. You don't want to piss this big hoss off. Remember the old Black Jacks? Yes. They were, these two put them to shame, these two big hosses. Look at those strikes. Holiday is not afraid to lay it in. Cal not Stevens afraid to put someone like, down. He's built like an 18-wheeler. It's unreal. Well, Big Cal Stevens is chomping at the bit to get in the ring now as we see Garrett Holiday with those huge forearm shots. Oh, following oh, man. Howell with one of his own. Oh. Wow. All right, Big Cal on the outside. Nice Samoan drop. One, two, and that was so close. That was an American Samoan drop, sir. Yes, I stand corrected. Should. Goes won't, up, tries the, the back percent. slide. Reversal. Hooks him. Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Nice. Trying to go for that pension DDT. Wait a minute. And that was a tag, comes, baby. That was Big indeed man. a tag. Big knee. Guerrero was... special. Oh. Wait a minute. What was that? One, two, three. That tag was, was so, made. That was so smooth. Why would you push your own partner aside, though? That makes no damn sense. Well, you won. still got a plethora of team. Holiday can't believe it. Big Cal Stevens stealing the blind tag and then stealing the pin from Holiday. I just think Cal Stevens wanted it. He felt the moment and went for it. Wait a second. Let's uh -oh. see what's going to happen here because he is not happy about that. And you just heard him. See a little dissension here in the team of Holiday and Stevens. Well, Big Cal's not used to working with somebody else. Well, He's used to working with Dirtbag Dan and the Dirty Family. That's right, the Filthy Family. That's what I said. Close enough. Shut up. Well, they better get it together now because this tag team gauntlet is not over as we see the House of Pain. Yeah, oh my God. Now I'm talking about big hosses. Those are some big hosses. That is the New World Wrestling Extreme Tag Team Champions right there. Yeah, big is an understatement. All the mammoth in that ring right now. And they are coming in all that is, business. That is not what you want to see when you look across the ring at your opponent. That's not uh, what you want to see when you look across the ring in a dark alley, a lighted alley at the park. A frightening prospect indeed. Well, he just tagged in Holiday. And Big Cal says no. One half of your battlefront champions looks like he's packing up. Yeah, I'll tell you, they are not on the same page, these two. Not at all. I think Cal Stevens is ready to call it a day. Come on. And there he goes. What is he doing? Make up your damn mind, kid. <laughs> well, maybe it's mind games. You're not supposed to play mind games with your partner. Oh, Cal's in. Cal is finally in. Wow, just muscles him in the back corner. I mean, if anyone can manhandle someone Cal's size, that is unreal. Well, Cal reminds me a lot of the friggin' cowboy from New Japan, Stan Hansen, the master of the Lariat, but he's still young. He still doesn't have that experience. The House of Pain, on the other hand, has been around for quite some time, and they are big, big, mean bastards. Yeah, but he's showing his uh, intuition because he just thumbed him to the eye. That's an Yeah, did he kill him? Wait a minute! Oh, Holiday with that shotgun elbow! Holiday had enough of Big Cal Stevens! Up! Look at the power! Oh, running power slam! That wasn't running, that was just a straight jumping. He killed him. He killed him. Good night, Big Cal Stevens. I did not see that coming. It just went from two on two to three on one. Hey, you know what's funny? He did the Big Cal when his partner hit him in the mouth. You know what? There's only so much you can do when you push a guy so far 
and then you snap. He hey, had enough. Don't hit your partner. Wow. Goodbye, Cal. And the House of Pain. See, I like these guys. I'm a tag team guy. I've been a tag team guy for 10 years. They're good. They're not Middlesex Express good, but they're good. Well, I feel bad for whoever's coming out next because they have got a tall order trying to take out the House of Pain. Yeah, they're, they're looking quite fearsome. So if you're on the other side of the curtain, you got to walk through and see that. Yeah. Oh, it's Doc Ozone. Look at that snazzy mofo right there. Hey, he stole it from your closet. No, nah, he doesn't have the shoes to match. Uh. The Garbage Men, Ike and Rat King, making their way to the ring. Look at this. Hey, House of Pain. Hey, I want to see a dead body. I want to see a dead body. Right here. <laughs> he is going to lay. I like these guys. The dead body of Ike or Rat King right in the lap of Chad Epic. Ladies Where did Doc Ozone find these guys? I'll tell you, Doc Ozone's a mastermind, but I don't know if his wisdom and expertise is going to be enough to get the garbage men past the House of Pain. Did they sign a contract for a hamburger and a piece of cheese? No, it's a hot dog and a handshake, son. Don't you know that? Nah. But right here, you see the Rat King from the promotion known as Blow, beautiful ladies of wrestling. Close enough. Ike, the fight has been all over the world, from Shikara all the way up to Maine, all the way wow. down to California. Where did you find them, Doc? Look at this. How much have you smoked today? Obviously. <laughs> well, if we can get back to the match. We're in the match. Doc Ozone just told us now that the garbage men were the result of an experiment done in the lab. This might be the weirdest tandem I've ever seen. I, I know more, the longer you're in professional wrestling, the weirder you see. I know a dancing wrestling robot. Come on. It's great. That's Same shockwave. Um, oh, I know I'm supposed to be impartial, but I do not have high hopes for the... Uh, for oh, the my God. Set. He actually put one down. Ike, what did oh. I say? Well, he put wow. two down. all over. He's deceptively strong. See those markings on his chest? It's like one of those weird Japanese haiku things that give you strength. Yeah, you might be eating your... Oh, look at this. Though. He's biting the arm. And now we see Rat it's King a big in. Piece of, oh, no. Rat King twisted. Rat King going to take a bite as well? Let's see. Wow. There you go. The House Good of Painter is playing strength. with these two kids. I hope, they, the ropes. I hope they didn't take you literally. What? I don't want any dead bodies here in the uh, commentary table. What Rat King. Oh, 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 oh. Rat King gets caught. Backbreaker. Well, that was and, flashy but unaffected. Uh, yeah, almost broken completely in half there. Could go for the cover, but... Oh, oh my God! Oh, Why? It. Goodbye. That's One, it. Good night. Two, three. There you go. Oh, oh, and an oh, exclamation Jesus. point. He's doing what I asked. Wow. With authority. And they just want the next team. They don't even want to breathe her. They just want to go right into it. Talk better. Back up. Wait a minute. That's SOG. That's SOG! Uh-oh, bro. And Matt Ledge! Interesting tag team combination here. That's not interesting at all. Look at this now. Wait a minute. SOG! Wow! wow. The power of Roddy Ribs! Unbelievable! Oh, going up top, guys. Wait, Matt Ledge is up. You gotta understand. Nice. Doc Gozone has managed SOG for nearly a decade. One, two. And that's it. Matt Ledge and the SOG Roddy Ribs getting the one, two, three on House of Pain. And Doc Gozone give the assist to Doc, who's been with Roddy Ribs for many of years. Absolutely. Fellowship. Uh, well, he said it was an experiment, so uh, I think we The experiment was to make sure to give Ronnie ribs. Very smart. Oh, here we go. 
The fun never stops. One of the most impressive tag teams in New England, Killer Instinct, Kevin Cartwright and Mike Skyros. Well, oh, Kevin and Mike right now, you gotta understand, these two guys right here, wait a minute, boom! Yeah, but they give up a lot of mass. They're yeah, NYCW okay. tag team champions, of course, out in New York. Like I said, they are from all over and beyond here. Matt Ledge tagged in. Matt Ledge, of course, just coming back after a small hiatus here in professional wrestling, is back training with a belt time club, showing these youngins a thing or two. Looks in great shape. He's okay. Okay. Says Moonlight Sun on his tights. He almost saw the dark. Someone needs to tell him that Moon Knight is just a ripoff of Batman. One, two. Nice Beautiful. bridge there by SOG. Northern Lights with a bridge. Beautifully done. SOG in the corner. Of course, SOG, a veteran of the United States Army, United States Infantry. The SOG is definitely a tough SOB. Yeah, he's got heavy artillery packed. Look at his guns. Well, Moonlight Sun is a tough son of a B himself. Did I just get bleeped? I don't like being bleeped. Absolutely. He can tell he's been hitting the gym, bulked up since the last time we saw him here at the Bell Time Club. Yeah, last time we saw him, he beat the holy hell out of Rumbo and Bo Douglas. He left a nice gash in Bo Douglas's head from the forehead to the back. And here's Kevin Cartwright, a dangerous, dangerous individual. A crafty, crafty wrestler. Knows his way around that ring, but right he now... He's oh, biting him in the ear! Wow, he's wiry. I mean, he gives up a lot of mass to SOG. Doc Ozo now berating the referee from the outside. Oh. Doc knows what he's doing. He just doesn't ever wear nice shoes. It's offensive. Doc is in a bad place right now. Ledge could probably stomp right on his face, and there's nothing that can happen. Or... What I wouldn't do that. He's out there with Ledge. <laughs> ah, I got confused for a second. It's hot. It is. a lot going on right now. You're a lot going on. Cartwright. Oh, cheap shot to nice. Ledge on the hey, outside. He did hit Ozone. I win. I wasn't confused. See? Killer, Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct. Oh, wait a minute. What is going on? Right now, Combo Breaker brings him down. Wow. One, two, Three. And that's it. Goodbye, Ledge and Ribs. Who else are we going to see in this gauntlet match now? I have no idea. Uh, we've seen everything today. So we got Killer Instinct. Who is the team coming out next? Neither of you know? Shame on you both. Well, let's see. I believe... We're going to see Anderson Gonzalez and Hot Shot Deshaun. And there you go. we are indeed. Jeez, does Doc Ozone manage every single person in this match? Yes, yes, he does. He's going to earn that handshake, brother. And that hot dog. So, right now, what you have. Is these another young stars against this talented tag team? Two of the most promising young competitors here in the Bell Time Club. Well, here's the, the thing: shot. these two right here have never teamed before. Doc is just throwing people together, throwing spaghetti at the wall, and hoping something sticks. Aha! He wants something to be al dente, and right now, Hot Shot going, and Anderson going. What is going on, Hot Shot? Anderson. Throws him through. What's this? No. Wow! Teamwork. Neck breaker elbow. Beautifully done. Skyro's up. Uh -oh. He has hot shot. Ducks the line. Gets hit right in the air himself. Look at the Sean laying wow. him in. Anderson. Say a hot shot. Anderson out here with a game plan, and it looks to be working beautifully. Anderson and Gonzalez are very uh, impressive. They're, they're a throwback. The hot shot now. A Got throwback to what? The kid's like 19 years old. He doesn't even know how to spell throwback. Hard Irish whip in the corner. Here we go. Rev it up. Anderson, of course, from the T.O. Test of Strength School run by Slick Wagner. Hot shot, a brick house baker boy. 
on the and, jump shove down in Rhode Island. And they're just a well put together machine. And that forearm was right on the mark. Well, this is the first time they've ever tagged. Why? Well, you wouldn't know. Now, I will say they are working good. Hot shot. Worrying oh. too much about firing up the crowd. You know what's going to happen? Wow. I guess nice he's going to kick him right in the mush. Big drop kick in the corner now. Mike Skyros, the worst for wear. I wonder if Hot Shot got into your hot sauce, Chad. No, he can't handle it. He cries like a little baby. Here we go, Anderson. Oh, Anderson. the cannonball. Nobody home there. Card right now. Got the referee, Rob Tuttle, in the corner. Skyros now. Oh! oh! Cheap shot. What? I didn't see a cheap shot. He hit him with the Belvedere. I didn't see nothing. Back up to it. Boom! That's got to be it. And that looks like the beginning of the end here for Gonzalez One, and Deshaun. One, two, three! It is indeed. Yeah. And I do believe that we've only got one team left here. Well, so whoever drew last team. has the advantage. Anderson trying to stand off against two not very smart. Yeah, like I said, he's probably upset they came out here with a beautiful game plan. It just didn't work out for them. Well, that's what happens. You listen to Doc. He's not all there. Well, you know what, though? Like I said, uh, they definitely look like they have a future tagging together. Third City Murder Crew now. I don't know. Lady Luck kissed him on the behind. They should probably go play the Mega Millions. They got last in this gauntlet. And here we go. Uh, oh, and here they come in. But dear is one half of your RICW and RWA Tag Team Champions. This tandem right here is normally a trio. Uh, killer Instinct better get some of that old thing back because they're not looking good right now. Beautiful continuity here by these two. One, two. Well, they're a brotherhood. These guys right here, they know each other so well. There's normally a third member who's down in Arizona getting some hardcore training right now. Of course, Montero, the NCW. Oh, stomp. New England champion. Almost one year he's held that belt. Wow, No one impressive. can drop him. And there's the tag. Going up top. Madeira is high flying. Oh, stubble oh, That stump. was innovative. Right on the elbow. You go, you attack the joints. Absolutely, yeah. Smart strategy here by these two. Very Montero. Oh, oh, violent double stop. Wait a minute. Whoa. Oh, oh sent ton. That was low. That was a little low. That was a great yeah, One, two, no. Ooh, not enough. Not, Not enough to put Cartwright away. Killer Instinct is still in this one. We're down to the last two. Whoever wins this wins it all. And you can guarantee you they're going to be taking a good look at the El Mundo Tag Team Champions. And Montero and uh, With but, company are definitely the better off right now because they're fresher men. Well, here's the question. If you win a match against the El Mundo Tag Team Champions, is that a, vic is that a reward or a punishment? Have you seen Bugsy and Big Bear? Terrifying, to very, say the least. Very true. Of course, we're going to see them in action, defend the titles later on a four-way. But right now, we are in the final stages of this gauntlet match. Killer and Instinct in the ring with the Dirt City off the ropes. Has him. Wait a minute. Montero fighting out of it. Montero also your PG. Oh, Skyro's got the oh. leg there. Montero's Bottom a second. Oh, beautiful maneuver. Cartwright drops a oh. one, two. Capture, slingshot, drop down. I was going to say Mike Montero not only is your uh, NCW New England champion, he's your proving ground champion. He's got a lot of results. Tell you, nothing but the best here for Bell Time Club Wrestling and nothing but the best here for Fenway Park and the Bell Time Club Faithful. It's nothing but the best except if you're playing baseball. Then you got to drop it down a little bit. No comment. Skyros with the big elbow in the corner. Right on the sternum. Like you said earlier, if you can't breathe, you can't fight. Oh, it's a good strategy, ah. and it makes sense. Wearing him down now. Nothing pretty there. Just effective. The 12 to 6, dropping him down. Big forearm. 
Montero blocks. Oh, Insiguri! Skyros wasn't even trying to block those forearms. He was just taking He doesn't have face. much in his head, so it's really not affecting his little brain. Got to have a huge psychological factor, though, on Montero to know that the forearms weren't effective, and now Cartwright wearing Montero down as we see Madeiras trying to get the Bell Time Club faithful behind them. And it looks to be working. Club faithful are like little puppets. You pull the string and they dance. Yeah, good luck. Faithful to what? Here we go. One, two. Oh, that was smart. Ricky Madeiras, he's a tag team expert. He knows what he's doing. But right now he's going to watch his partner get stretched out. Ugh. Stretched out indeed as we see the look of agony on the face of Mike Montero. Look at how far his elbows, his shoulders are hyperextended. What yoga position is that? None. We could get a submission here, folks. Nope. Here comes Skyros. I think that's actually... Backwind right there, the backwind twist position. Uh, it's very famous in India. Nice snap suplex right into the cover. One, One two, not Mike enough. Skyros doesn't nice. pick, pick the leg. Why? You want to win this, do everything you can. Wrestling 101, always hook the leg. Now he hooks the leg. It's a little late. Single leg Boston Crab uh, at Fenway well, Park. And he knows it. He's just rubbing it in. Here's the thing, this man right here, I haven't seen that move at all tonight. First man to do a Boston Crab, even though it's a single leg here at Fenway oh, here Park. Go. Gotta break the hold. Montero wisely getting to the ropes. Lucky he got to the ropes. It could have been the end of it. Yeah, Skyros had a pit bull grip. Yep, there he goes right back to it. That waist is a lock. beautiful waist lock. Drop down, goes oh. back to Skyros. Amateur wrestling days. Junior NCW Golden Champion. Bet you didn't know that one. I did. I just didn't feel like telling you. Well, Skyros is feeling it now. Now nah, he felt that. Big oh, knee. Oh, wow. Lights up. Flush. Mike Montero bringing him up top. Oh, they're at the penthouse. Everything's breaking down. I wonder if John Henry's up there. There goes Cartwright. Wait a minute, Montero. Frankenstein. Oh! Wow. Frankenstein are right in. He Frankenstein Skyros right into Cartwright. And both men are down now. I think uh, Madeiras wants to get in. Chomping at the bit. I can't get into Montero makes that tag. He desperately needs to get over there. Skyros Working is his in way. A bad way. He's got it. All right. Medeiros now. Cutter! Oh. Madeiras up, over, almost out. No, it's a Gary. Nice. There we go. Madeiras is like a jumping bean here. Look at him. He's oh, my wow. God. Wow. That was, that was smooth. Beautiful cutter. Was it peanut butter smooth? No, no. I like my peanut butter crunchy. I do, too. Off the road, don't tell Smooth, he's frightened. Oh, look at this. Nice athleticism. Oh, wow. Unbelievable, folks. We're going to start calling him Oprah. You get a cutter. You get a cutter. Everybody here gets a cutter, and he's under the ropes. Count of two only. <coughs> Tell you, something's got to give at this point in the match. Oh, Skyros with an uppercut. As I'm up, Skyro, fireman's carry. Kick wow. the head. Oh. Why not again? Spin kick. Elbow. Punch. German. Roll through. Wow. I, I Beautiful tandem dead. offense, but broken up there by Cartwright. This yeah. whole match is broken down. Those, what action? Those strikes were so brutal. Mike Montero isn't where he's at for being light. Catch it into his partner. What is he? He oh, no. Oh, telegraphed it the wrong way. Miss Q. Oh, wow. What was that? That was an inverted destroyer, sir. P.D. Williams would be proud. Never heard of him. Nice uppercuts. He doesn't invert his destroyers. But anyway, we've got Madeiras. Who's uh -oh. fighting everywhere. Wait a minute. Back in that special... But a cutter to top it off. That's got to be it. 
One, One two, three. There it is. What a hard-fought battle and a hard-fought victory there for Killer Instinct. Unbelievable. You never know what you're going to get at Fenway Park, and that did not disappoint at all. So what here right now, you're winners of this whole entire thing. Killer Instinct picks up a huge win, and I guarantee you that puts them right in line for the El Mundo Tag Team Championships. It absolutely has to. Impressive, impressive showing here by Killer Instinct winning the Tag Team Gauntlet here at Fenway Park. Well, for all you fine folk watching at home on YouTube, my name is Drew Kazoo. For Chad Epic and Joey Business, you don't get to we'll sign out for me. Go ahead and sign it out then. I don't want to. <laughs> See you next time.